Good morning. Welcome to my Silver Sneakers class. I'm Olivia. Let's get started. All right. Readjust this back in the seat. Oh, I love a little massage on the back, and these chairs feel pretty darn good for that. So settle on in. Open your eyes really wide. And just let them drift close. Mm. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, maybe one time, two times. Oh. Let yourself be present, 45, 50 minutes, that's it. And it's time well spent in your day. Feel the front part of the body move with the breath. Collarbones line, uh, lift, the breastbone lifts, the bottom of the ribs expand as you breathe into the belly. Love a good deep breath, huh? So let's see if we can make it a little bit deeper. So you get to the top of that inhale, pull in a little more breath, and you get to the bottom of that exhale, squeeze out a little more breath, use that rib cage. Staying right where you are, we're going to start just like we did on Monday, turning the chin over the right shoulder and then the left shoulder. And I'm asking you to stay back there so the shoulders aren't going to move. This is just the neck. Pay attention. How does it feel? We have one side that's maybe a little tighter than the other. You get over to one side, you want to tuck the chin and lift the chin. Take a little bit of that. Just move slowly, move with intention and be aware of any new sensation. Anything you don't like, don't do it. And one more. And then back to the front. Now imagine you've got this light beam coming out of the crown of your head. We're gonna tip that over to the right. Can you feel this neck lengthen? Come back to the center. You're gonna tip it over to the left. So it's kind of like you're going up and over. And again, notice that one more time. One side that's maybe a little bit tighter than the other. Make sure you're lifting, lifting up and over there. All right, and then coming back to your chin, look down towards that right elbow. And then look down towards the left elbow. And then tuck the chin like you're trying to see if you got crumbs on your shirt from that toast you ate this morning. And then lifting all the way up. All right, let's scoot forward towards the edge of the seat. And put the feet right underneath the knees. And your sit bones are right at the edge of the chair, but you're not going to fall out, please. <coughs> and then I like to place my hands here. I'm gonna push down into them because that's gonna draw the shoulders away from the ear. This is more than one. And then the crown of the head is gonna be able to reach nice and tall. Put ever so slight tuck in your chin here. Yeah. And now let's take the gaze up just a little bit with a nice long neck and then maybe a tuck towards that little notch in your throat. Easy, easy lift. Don't let the head fall back. And then down. I like to be sure we have a long spine when we take this because the chest is lifted, and down. One more time, and down. All right, let the fingers just dangle down to your side here now. And then tucking the elbows in, heart's gonna lift a little bit more because the shoulders are gonna roll back. 
seated mountain pose. Somebody asked me, how's the best way to sit in a chair? My back hurts when I sit back like this. I said, what? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I've been tall. Okay, left hand I'm going to use for a little bit of support here. I'm going to reach up. Look down towards the ground. And then as you come back up, swing it back down. Look the other way. And again, look down towards the ground. And back. So turning the neck once again. And again. Activities of daily living. You want to be able to look behind. Now let's leave this arm up here. Now what I want you to do is make a fist and punch the air. Do a little deeper stretch. And then shake it down. All right. Other arm down. Using that right hand for support. Oh, no. Let's see. We're going to reach up first. So just easy first. Easy side stretch here. Look down towards the earth. Find both sides. And again. So this time we're going to lift it and hold it up there. Make a fist and then punch the air. Feel a little bigger stretch. All right, both hands behind the head. And I'm going to um, support my head here and lift it up. Almost as if I'm going to lift up underneath the skull right there. And then exhale, bring the elbows together and tuck the chin downward. And then again, we're going to lift at the base of the skull, lifting the head. Just gently. So you choose your own adventure, please. Nothing hurts, please. No pain. And down. And if you're better with the hands on the shoulders, that's okay too. And down. All right, send the hands back and hinge forward at the hips. Yeah, squeezing the shoulder blades together. We're gonna circle sweep, come all the way up. Deep breath in. Now while I'm reaching up, I'm going to tuck the tailbone underneath me, roll back, lift to the ceiling, here's a forward fold. This time we're going to halfway rise, hands are going to slide up the legs, let the heart come forward. I'm even going to push into my legs right here. Once again, that's going to draw the shoulders back a bit and let the heart come forward. And then circle sweep all the way up, reach up, tuck the tailbone underneath you, and all the way back down. All right, we're going to do what we did. Um, on Friday, on Mon uh, Monday. For a twist to the right, we're going to find that long spine. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, come back. Exhale, and as you twist, squeeze that rib cage together. Use the uh, intercostal muscles again back to the front to help you exhale. Squeeze down. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze the ribcage. And return to the front. Let the heart heal, or let the spine heal a little bit. Deep breath in, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the tailbone. I'm holding on to my knees right here. And again, one more time. Tip of the sit bones, lift the heart. Exhale, scoop the belly and round back. All right, we go the other way. Nice straight spine, long spine. Inhale. Exhale, twist. One more time. You're going to go with your own breathing rhythm. Everybody's a little different. Use that full inhale long and use all the exhale to add that twist. Right, as long as you're using the rib cage to help you exhale. And one more. Exhale. All right, everybody back. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the tailbone around the spine. <coughs> and again, inhale, we lift. Exhale. One more time. And exhale. Gosh, this should feel really good. It does to me. And let's walk the legs out a little bit wider. And go around getting a little, ooh, lots of great sensations in there for me. My hip. More than one. <laughs> and again, you can take this as deep as you're comfortable or shallow. It makes no matter to me. Whatever feels good to you. All right, let's go the other way. The other thing I'd like to do is close my eyes and just see how that feels in my head and in my chest, too. Coming back a little bit, going forward. I don't know, is that weird? 
All right, so we spiral right back up to the top. And then left hand right there on the wrist. I'm gonna turn to my right knee, take a deep breath in, belly in. Exhale, slide down the front of the leg as if you're gonna reach to the shoes. You're gonna tuck the chin a minute, a minute use that right hand and roll back up. We'll go the other way, deep breath in. Look to the left, over the left knee. Exhale, slide down. That belly is pulled in, breathe into the back ribs. And exhale, push right back up. Oh, let's just do that one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe into the back ribs. And exhale, come back up. One more time. We cross this hand to really get that stretch into the back. Exhale down. Belly in. Breathe to the back rib. And exhale right back up. All right. Walk your feet in. Let's get that right knee in. Ooh. Tuck the forehead down. And then inhale, open it out. Lift it a little higher and bring it right back in. Tuck the forehead, scoop the belly here. Take it out, maybe lift a little higher and right back in, deep breath. Exhale, tuck in, belly in, out. Lift a little higher, one more time. Out, lift it a little higher and release it back down. All right, let's walk it out to the side and we'll go from there. We're gonna brush in. And again, brush. So I'm brushing the ground. I've got my toes on the ground. I've got sneakers on. Maybe a little more challenging. And one more time. All right, toe to the front. Lifting up. Take a little hinge to feel a little stretch. A little micro bend in this knee. That's a must always. Be looking towards the foot first. Ooh, I cleaned the floor there pretty good. And then take the gaze <laughs> up. Yeah, so, oh yeah. That's a little different stretch right there. Both feet together, round the spine, roll back up, but bring that left one with you, all right? Exhale, forehead to the knee, scoop in the belly. Inhale, lift it out. Maybe lift a little higher three more times with your own breathing rhythm. Let me extend that leg out, let it pull you up nice and tall, all right? So you follow it out there and lift. Last one, and then lower it down to the ground. We walked it out first. Yeah. Okay, nice inner thigh stretch. You're gonna keep head over heart over pelvis here, and then we're gonna circle it around. So nothing, so watch everything's not moving here. Just hold everything nice and still. When you take that range of motion that's good, you may not be able to get all the way out there. I can't. And one more time, great movement in the hip. To the front, toe to the ceiling. Feel that great calf stretch. Take a little hinge at the hip. Look down towards the toe first. Hands on that right thigh. And then let the heart come forward. Like I said something, you said, huh? All right. And all the way up. Bring that knee in. Ooh. And down. Okay. Feet underneath you. We're going to rise up. You know what that means. You can use hands here. You can use the chair. You could use hands here. You could shoot the arms up. All right. But we take a deep breath in. Up on the exhale, belly comes in. I'm gonna reach to the ceiling. Your choice here. And let them just float down. All right, from here, I'm gonna slide down below the knees, bend them. Come right back up, deep breath in. And then again, same thing, hinge at the hip, bend the knees, slide the hands down, maybe below the knees. It's up to you entirely, rise right back up. And one more time, we slide down and come right back up. We're gonna bring the hands together at the heart. Now we're gonna take a couple of squats. Be sure nobody moved the chair from behind you. They're pretty nice people here. And we're gonna squat right here because we do have the chair, okay? We don't have the chair in front, we got the chair behind. Deep breath in, we squat down. And just keep your breath going. <sighs> All right. And one more time. Okay. So now hands at the heart, you're gonna hinge at the hip and everybody says, Kap Kun Ka. <laughs> it's Thai for thank you. All right, Kap Kun Ka, deep breath in. <laughs> and shake out. <laughs> Nobody shakes hands, Kap Kun Ka. <laughs> All right, round to the back of the chair. Grab yourself a drink of water. First, let's just find mountain pose once again. 
So the feet are going to be, the heels are going to be underneath your sit bones. That means they're not wider, they're not right underneath you. They are comfortably apart. That should feel pretty darn good. For the most part, toes are facing straight ahead. Right? My knees are going to be soft. I'm going to draw the tailbone downward towards the earth. Okay, I'm just going to do one thing today. Now, you can see my toes are pretty much facing straight ahead, but I'm going to lift my heels and take them out about a quarter of an inch. Okay, we're not coming this way, all right? Just ever so slightly. And then as you draw that tailbone down, maybe you'll feel that low back space right here kind of open up a little bit as you press the feet down into the earth. And then let the elbows draw into the waist, the palms press forward, the collarbones broaden. Put a little tuck in your chin so the ears line up with the shoulders instead of here. Yeah. And maybe close your eyes. If you want to get that chair handy, go ahead and raise your hand to it. Close your eyes for a minute. And imagine there's this wonderful aroma going through here of chocolate chip cookies <laughs> or cinnamon rolls or something that you love to smell that aroma. Arms up, deep breath in. And bring the hands back to the heart, back to the chair, and we step back to downward facing dog. So we're walking the feet out. They're gonna come underneath the hips. Turn that tailbone to the back wall. So you're gonna hinge at the hip, and you're gonna need to soften the knees to do that. And then I want you to lift that front body to the back body. So pull that navel in towards your spine, lowering the heart towards the earth much as your shoulders will allow. Everybody's going to have a little downward facing dog, a little different, and it's okay. Take the right hand on top of the left hand, and I'm going to walk my left, my right foot out just a little bit to aid in this side twist, and I'm going to push my hips over to the right a little bit more. Walk that foot back in. Let's go the other way. Step it out to the side. Take that deep breath in. All right, and coming back up. Take the gaze over the chair. Everybody's going to work the back a little bit there. Step the right foot in, step back on the left. So that left foot's going to turn out just a little bit. Right there, put that right knee over the ankle, straighten that back leg, check, look, look down and be sure you've got that right. And then <coughs> lifting the heart, the gaze, the heart, and arms up if that works for you. You need one hand on the chair, that's why it's there. Drop your shoulders, connect the ribs to the hips. Yeah, lifting, it's kind of a ta -da. Yeah, Beautiful little wiggle here. Then what I want you to do is stretch the thumb far from the little finger, as far as you can. Tuck the fingers in and give it a hang loose. <laughs> nice. Deep breath in. Now, without sinking any deeper into that front knee, hinge at the hips. Cross the arms. Touch your shoulders. Scoop right back up. Now, if you're using one hand, remember when we get to the other side, use the other hand. Okay. Touch the shoulders. And right back up. Follow your breath. Here's the exhale. Here's the inhale. Beautiful. One more time. I hear it, I see it, it's lovely. Reaching up. Now, bring the hands to the right hip and bring that left shoulder towards the chair. Now, you need the hand on the chair, put that left hand on your chair. And notice you have a feel, this nice long line from the crown of the head to the heel. I have hinged forward a little bit. You may want to use the chair, it's okay. Tuck the chin, look back if you can see your back foot. I can't, but I'm looking that way. Yeah, nice. All right, come back to the front, hands on the chair, step back to downward facing dog. Any movement you need now. You've been moving here a little bit. You got a kink in one hip, the other, go ahead and get a little movement, maybe round your back a little. And then again, we're going to take the gaze over the chair so you flex the back, a little baby cobra, step in on the left foot, turn that right toe out, that front knee is over the ankle, back leg is straight, and we rise up once again. Drop your shoulders, everybody. Yeah, press that back heel into the ground. Yeah, I like to imagine it has a root on it. So, and it's pulling me back here. 
as I'm reaching forward. All right, again, same thing. Stretch the fingers of the thumb far from the little finger and then tuck the fingers in and a little hang loose. <laughs> and we circle down. Now, I'm not sinking into my front knee here, right? I'm gonna keep that the same right over the ankle. Deep breath in. Here's the exhale. And if you're using the chair, just be sure you're using the other arm this time. And again, breath comes in just so naturally, doesn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, that's right, be sure you touch your shoulders. Ooh, cross the arms. Can you cross the other one the next time? Well, that's a little different, isn't it? <laughs> and one more time, lifting up. All right, so now the hands are gonna come to the hip, and as you do that, it's natural for you to hinge a little bit. Let that right shoulder come towards the chair. Put your hand on your right hand on the chair if you need it, and then turn the gaze to the right wall. So I am hinged. Crown of my head to the heel is a beautiful. Yeah, go ahead and use the chair. It's a nice long line, and then tuck your chin as if you're looking back towards the heel. No, I'm not seeing it, but I'm looking for it. All right, now go back to the chair. Hands on the chair. Downward facing dog. Breathing deep. Any movement you need here. All right, and then take a little baby step in towards the chair. Oh, you know what? Let's come around to the side. Look, I need a little downward. I need a little cat and cow. So let's come around to the right side of your chair and then turn to the chair. Okay, I'm not gonna have you turn around. We'll do this. Hands on the chair right there. Grab hold of it lest we fall off of it, okay? And then some cat and cow. Heart comes forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone underneath you. Look back towards the thigh muscles. And then again, flat back, heart moves forward. Exhale, round the spine. Again, one more time. And exhale. All right, and then just come back to that flat back right there. You're looking at the edge of the chair. What I want you to do is turn the chin and look to me. Yeah, you really work that neck in a new way. It's kind of like triangle pose. We turn and look the head, look to the front. It's the same sort of muscles you use when you do that. And then back. Okay. We're going we're gonna to take some scapular push-ups. And I, if you could come up for a minute. And I say these are, uh, I was with my Belvedere crowd yesterday at, um, at their place. And then yesterday in Pilates class. For some reason, it's a difficult move to get people to do. But it, it'll, the idea is what I want you to do is you're going to sink the heart towards the chair. And what happens is those shoulder blades will touch behind your back. And then you're going to lift away from them. So you're going to pull that heart up into the chest. Right? These are scapular push-ups. You sink down and rise back up. Got it? All right. So... Let's do this. Feet underneath the hips. You're gonna sink the heart down towards the chair. My belt elbows on ever so slightly and then push away from the chair, all right? Put your feet right underneath your hips. You're gonna back up. Yeah, there you go, there you go. So sink, feel the shoulder blades draw together in the back and then push away. And then again, sink them. Feel the shoulder blades are gonna move together and then come back up. There you go, there you go. And then sink them back down. Yep, there you go. You got them. Sink them in. Shoulder blades come together. Like I just put an ice cube on your back. And then find neutral position. That's going to be halfway between. All right? So you're in that neutral position now. I want you to fire on the core muscles here. So the navel comes into the spine. And then lift that hand that's closest to me. Maybe bring it to the heart first. And then if you're able to extend it out to me, do so. Fire, core muscles are fired on, and we're gonna pulse that hand up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swing it to the uh, left wall, and then release it right back down. Bend the knees, push off and round the spine and roll back up. How do we do? Yeah, those are not easy to do but we need to get that back strong, and it's a great way to do it. Other side, so we can mm, look to the front. It's gonna be the same, but we're gonna look this one. We're gonna use this hand. Okay, so again, feet are underneath the hips here. And hands under the shoulders. So you look like a tabletop, right? With legs. First, look to me. 
just turned the chin like I said something. Like, what the heck is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then let's look right back down. Let's take a cat and cow. Heart comes forward. Exhale, start in the tailbone and round the spine. All right, and then come back to that flat back. So here's when we sink the heart to the chair. And you're gonna feel those shoulder blades draw together and then push way away, dome the back. Again, slide right down, slide right down, shoulder blades together, and then push away. Imagine if I put an ice cube right in the center of your back, what that would feel like. Shoulder blades together. See if you can do it without bending your elbows. Yeah. Sink the heart. Mm -mm, don't bend your elbows. Keep them straight. Just sink the heart. Mm -mm, don't bend your elbows. Yeah, there they go. There they go. And then come back up and dome your back. All right, and then find right smack in the middle between the two. Okay, nice flat back, shoulders pressing down. In fact, the shoulder blades are gonna point towards the tailbone at that point. And then bring that uh, hand that's closest to me into your heart first. Fire on the core muscles. I have a little micro bend in my legs and then extend that arm out to me. Pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, swing it over your head right there to the right wall, right back to the chair, bend your knees, push off the chair, round back up, take a deep breath in, nice, nice, and all the way back, all right, mm, this motion here, we want to get this, because what happens when, when y'all get old, <laughs> here, so this gets extremely tight, this gets extremely weak. So we want to keep this stretched and get that strong, all right? All right, downward facing dog, and then we'll move into some different postures. Any movement you need here, go ahead and take it. A little wiggle, a little shimmy, a little shake. Breathing deep. All right, tucking the tailbone, you're going to walk into the chair as you round up. Head's going to be the last thing to come up. Step the feet out wide, and let's turn that right toe to the right wall. All right, open the arms. Nice and tall. We're simply, gonna, this is right here. Ribs, tap and tap, keeping that tailbone going right to the ground. You really have to work at that. Otherwise, the hips are going to do this. Keep that tailbone going right to the ground. So fire on both legs, front leg and back leg. As this happens. All right. We're going to leave that right arm up. Maybe turn the gaze to the arm. And then sink into that right knee. See if you can figure out what knee over the ankle feels like. And then level out in warrior two. And notice, did you get it right? Knee over the ankle, back leg straight. Lovely. Lovely. Give yourself a hug. Cat, nice job. Like you're taking your shirt off. Right here, look over those two pace fingers. Again, we turn the neck. Slide towards that wall, let that uh, right hand rest, and then lifting that left arm. Easy, easy side angle here. Yeah, let's draw that left shoulder back and put it on that wall behind you, and then we'll take that gaze the other way. So we turn the head once again, using the chair if you need it, please. Breathing deep. All right, drop that arm down. We're going to brush the ground. We come back to warrior two, straightening that front leg, and we're going to slide. This time that tailbone is going to point towards the inner thigh here and windmill the arms. Using the chair any way you need it, too much on the arms, go ahead and put them down. Again, we look towards the ground, towards your toes, and this is where you look towards the front of the room. Yeah. Keep pushing the hips to the left wall. Feel even deeper stretch in that inner thigh right there. Maybe turn the gaze to the ceiling. Fire on those core muscles. Use the chair if you need it, please. And again, circle that arm around. Come right back, both toes to the front, star pose. Drop your shoulders, connect the ribs to the hips. And let's take that airport scanner, touch the thumbs, and bring them down to the waist. And again, touch the thumbs, down to the waist, tuck the chin right there. Oh, great stretch in the back when we do that. And down. All right, hands on the rib cage, deep breath. 
Exhale, press forward. And again, one more time. Press forward. All right, all the way up. We switch directions. So remember how we were straight legged first. I drop my right hand down. I'm going to look towards that left arm. And then you're going to sink into that knee until you think it's right over the ankle. See what kind of muscle memory we have there. Yeah, nice. Great. All right, back to the front. Level this out. Take a little slide. Reaching that arm, but that arm will go to the ceiling, let it go. If you need the <clears throat> hand on the chair, by all means, you need the hand bent, that's okay too. And then look down towards the toe first. Be sure that knee is tracking right in the direction of the toe. And we'll look to the front, there's that neck work again, and then rotate the head if that's accessible, looking towards the arm. Once again, we work that neck. Everything comes from mountain pose, so notice you still have those nice broad collarbones here. You're still able to take that deep breath. All right, let's circle that arm down and around. We level this out. Straightening that front knee, let's go into reverse here. So you've been in this position, let's let that hip drop down, okay? So the tailbone goes to the earth, reaching up, and we're gonna take this side to side without moving the low half of my body. This is all in the ribs. Tailbone is facing the ground. I'm really working at that. I fire on my legs, so both legs are solid me, solidly holding me here. But again, that front knee is not locked, neither is the back. One more time. All right, all the way up, and here's where we're gonna go into triangle pose. <clears throat> so now what happens is that my hips are gonna push to the right as I reach to the left using the chair any way you need to. Windmill the arms, look down towards the toes. I have a little bend in this knee and that's important right there. Look to the front, there's that neck work again. Keep pushing those hips to the right wall here so we don't have this round up here in the upper body, right? Let the hips push. So let this left hip drop and maybe turn the gaze. Come up higher if you need to, it's okay. One more breath, drop that arm. Come back to our star pose. Shoulders down, ribs and hips connected, tailbone drawing down to the ground, little micro bend in the knees. I want you to imagine you're as thin front to back as you can be and as big top to bottom as you can be. <laughs> right? yeah, so just imagine that I've, I've squished you between two panes of glass. <laughs> All right, let's bring the hands together in a clap. And all the way down. Hands on the hips. <coughs> the heart. And now bend the knees, hinge at the hips. We're going to move towards the chair. And you need one hand, two hands on the chair. Go ahead and do that. Now as you do this, push the elbows back and skyward. And then push back up. There's that work in the back. Once again, you want to get those shoulder blades together. So resist that urge to have them come forward here. Push the weight towards the toes. And so you'll bring the hips a little more forward instead of letting them fall back. You feel those toes really work. Belly pulled in. Nice work in those hamstrings. <laughs> One more time. Using the chair anytime you need it there. All right, and release. Let's bring the feet in and sink into the knees and just wag the tailbone side to side. If you had a tail. You have a yeah. tailbone, you have a tail. <laughs> Or as we did one, one time, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's pulse down. Two, three, rise up. And again, pulse down. One, two, three, rise up. And one more time, shoulders on the wall behind you. One, two, three, rise up. All right, clap your hands. Walk your feet together, use the chair if you need to. And I'm gonna drop my hands down right where, if I had a zipper, or if I was putting a necklace on. All right. And then bringing the elbows in. All right, we'll step back from the chair because we're gonna come into our airplane pose. Feet are in set position. Extend the arms, hinge at the hips and bend the knees. Pull that navel in towards your spine. Once again, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Maybe even rotate the palms towards the side walls and that'll help you do that. 
Now from here into chair pose. Swing the hands forward. Now be sure the knees don't come over the hips. No, let's see. Come over the toes. Hands into the heart. Now in this position, I want you to turn the tailbone towards the ground, but lift the heart. And maybe powerful pose. Arms up. Drop your shoulders. Sink a wee bit deeper and push that ceiling back up. Deep breath in. And release down. Ooh, la la. Very, very nice. Okay, let's take another chair pose. Deep breath in. And I'm going to add this twist to it. Forward fold. Halfway rise. Looking right towards the chair here. Squeeze the shoulder blades again. Keep them back and come into chair pose. All right. Hands to the heart. I'm going to drop both hands down to my right hip. Bring that left shoulder underneath the right shoulder and look to the right wall. Now, notice what's happened to your knees. Have your, has your right knee come back? See if you can level out those knees, right? And then turn the gaze to the right wall. Yeah. Lifting the heart. Everything's from mountain pose. Open the chest. Using the chair if you need to. Come back to the front. Hands on the thighs. Let's round the spine. Roll back up. Take a little chest expansion. All right, we do it again. Deep breath, other side. Forward fold. Halfway rise. And circle sweep. Come into chair pose. Let's bring the hands to the heart. Okay, my feet are comfortably apart. My knees are at the same level here, all right? You're going to bring the hands over to the left hip. Use the chair if you need to right here. And then notice this left hip is, or left knee is going to want to come back. Get them level. So look back at your knees and then turn the gaze. Right shoulder comes down underneath, that belly is pulled in, everything's in mountain pose. Gosh, I'm talking so much today. <laughs> Breathing. Knees in the chair, it's just fine. All right, come on back to the front. Let's circle sweep, stand all the way up. Drop the ribs, drop the shoulders, twinkle the fingers down. All right, step out. Grab a drink of water. You still have to get a little balance in here. Keep mm -mm, mm -mm. playing. There we go. So, ooh, I need a little shake in my legs. <laughs> that was a lot there. We still need a little bit of balance in here. I think we'll take airplane pose. Okay. So, you have the chair handy there. Slide that right left foot back and rock back into it. So, put that left heel. And if you're going to need that chair, bring it back to you for a moment, all right? Turn the palms to the front. Everything's in mountain pose. The only thing that's different is our feet are apart, right? Chest is lifted, collarbones are broad, chin is tucked right here. Bring the hands to the heart. Let's extend them, extended namaste with pyramid pose. And then as we release that, I'm going to push forward here. You've got that chair handy. Now, notice that your shoulders are right inside the chair. And the moment you lift that foot, it's going to want to shift, right? So work at keeping yourself right inside the chair. All right. Lifting it, I flex the foot. You can keep the toe on the ground if that feels better to you. Bring that belly in. Let the heart come forward a little bit more. And I'm going to take the opposite arm out to the side first. Little micro bend in that supporting knee, and should you find balance, let's try the other one too. It's up to you. Sink into that knee width a little bit, that'll help. All right, drop your hands to the chair, bring that knee right in, right straight up in front. Ooh, a little circle on the ankle and drop it down. All right, we go the other side. So get yourself back to mountain pose. Feet are comfortably apart. We're gonna slide that right foot back. Again, it's gonna stay same distance apart, and I want you to be sure you can get both feet on the ground. So you adjust how far back you're gonna go. Tailbone draws to the ground. Everything comes into mountain pose again. Beautiful. A little micro bend in the knees will help you do this. Hands to the heart. Let's take this, squeeze in the heel, the hand together. Pyramid pose with extended namaste. Ooh, and here we go. We're gonna push forward. And I'm gonna bend that front knee. Get yourself right over the chair, nice and even, all right? Or we're gonna wanna do this, and the shoulders are gonna do all this business. 
Keep everything squared up. So when you lift that foot, nothing changes, right? Bending that front knee. I'm gonna take the opposite hand out for a little counterbalance, and then maybe you find that balance. Touch the toe on the ground when you need it. You are still working on balance. Feel the glute, that's the seat and the hamstring work here to lift you. All right, for that little stretch back there, hands on the chair, bring that knee up, we'll circle in the ankle, can you see that? Yep. And then all the way down. Step back, nice deep breath in. Forward fold, halfway rise. And circle sweep, all right, lovely. And down, shake out, good, good work today. Let's have a seat, drink a water first, we'll sit back down and finish in the chair. All right, reach your back. And let's again take the feet wide. And uh, close your eyes if you'd like, going around. And just notice, just sort of let the head move side to side. Maybe switch directions, go the other way. And again. All right, coming right back up to the center. I'm gonna leave that left leg there. I'm gonna slide that right leg out, and I'm gonna turn my right heel out. Now, if this gives you a cramp in there, go ahead and bring that knee in, okay? Uh, bring that heel in. Otherwise, both feet are facing the um, left diagonal of your imaginary box. Yeah? <coughs> that seems right? Okay. Coming over that knee, take a little hinge at the hip here. Maybe begin to feel a little lengthening down this side. Turn and look over that left shoulder. Look back to the toes, pull the belly in, and round back up. Take that left hand on the chair, and then look over the left shoulder once again. Deep breath in. Yeah, it's a little more challenging when that spine's twisted, huh? All right, coming back to the front, and we'll go the other way. So I'm gonna slide that left leg out. Oh, let's see, that's left leg, yep, yep, yep. And then look at, you may want to readjust yourself lest we fall off the chair, okay? Again, if this you feel this cramp in the hip, go ahead and bring that heel in, that's okay. But my body is squared up to my right leg. I'm gonna hinge at the hip. Grab hold of the chair, don't fall out if you need to. It's, it's all right if you do that. And then look to the back diagonal, or the back wall. Let that stretch come a little more into the side right there. I'm using both feet on the ground, press them into the earth. to the toes, push back up, and then we'll add another little twist here. All right, come on back to the front, lock everything in. Right. And let's bring that right leg up. Now I'm gonna take this figure four stretch. Um, you know, if you've had hip replacement, you've been told not to cross the midline, you're gonna wanna avoid this, just put the foot down. Otherwise, it's one I think you need to do every day. I think that's why the floor is so slippery. Nice mm -hmm. and tall. Again, we've had custodian issues right now, but he's, he's coming back. You can open it, you can press it down, press that low back forward, lengthen. Everything comes back to mountain pose. Isn't it lovely when we sit nice and straight? Maybe a little hinge. You're gonna feel some tension. There shouldn't be any pain. Find heel for a minute there, coming into that beautiful mountain pose once again. And we've one more leg to do. Deep breath in, exhale, bring that knee in. And here we go, we're gonna cross it up and over if that's accessible. Hold it up, open it up, press it down or hold it. Keep this foot flexed here as well. And then find the tip of the sit bones. Let's be sure this foot is right underneath that knee right there too. There you go. Maybe a hinge forward. Maybe not. It's up to you. Be 
using your breath, try to let the muscles in the hips just relax. This is a daily stretch. I were to say what or two of my daily stretches I would do, that would be one of them. Another one might be this one right here, mm -hmm. or this one right here, just to get the back straight, stretched, and chest stretched, and the back strong. All right, walk yourself back, but I want you to do it one hip at a time. So we work these obliques. Lift. It's like you're lifting your sit bone up over a little grape. <laughs> <laughs> Raisin. <laughs> and then push your spine into the back of the chair. I work best, best with some images. <laughs> and then I apologize if you are um, height challenged and can't get your feet on the ground. You may want to scoot for a little bit. But connect the ground, your feet with the earth right there. And then I, I was, bleh, open your eyes wide and scrunch them up. And then just let your face and everything relax. And that's going to translate into the shoulders and the chest. Take a deep breath in. You can open your mouth. You finished. The best part right now. And just notice how you feel from when you came in. Begin to, wiggle, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And stretch the hands out once again. Thumb and little fingers stretch far. Bring the fingers in to the heel of the hand. Give me a hang loose. And then hands together at your heart. And to yourself, my goodness, today I am just so grateful for. Answer that question. Answer that. And dropping your chin to your chest. Gratitude turns everything we have into enough. Namaste. Namaste. And kapkun <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you all. Have a great day. Good week. We will have a regular week next week.